Hey friends, welcome to Norris Cove. I'm Yoshida. Today we're going to be doing our paycheck to paycheck weekly check-in for me. If this is something that you would be interested in, stay tuned. Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome to all of our new subscribers. I'm happy to have you here. Um, this is what we do pretty much on Mondays. I used to call it Monday Money Mondays. Um, but on Mondays, we get our intentions ready for the week, for our upcoming bills, and all of that great stuff. So, I'll be using my paycheck to paycheck weekly check-in here. I'm just going to grab a pen and have one prepared. So, for this week will be, this is week number one, I believe of September and it'll be August 30th through September the 5th, okay? <sighs> you guys, this is that slow week. So, um, I got a new income to tell you guys about and I'm gonna get into that one in just a second. So, y'all, today I signed up for Instacart. <laughs> Let me tell you. So, for this week for hair, I project only $400. Um, Shopify, so far, I only make $9. Um, I'm going to go for $50. And then with the new income, I'm just putting miscellaneous because it may be more. I'm going to go for $150. Okay, and so we should be at 600. That's four, that's five, and that's six for the week. I don't know, but, and I got a lot of bills, y'all. So I have my little sticky note over here of my bills. I make, I kind of pre-plan, write these down, and I put them in my on-the-go planner of my weekly check-in to kind of prep me for that week. So I'll have a kind of, a uh, head look so I kind of don't spin. Does that make sense to y'all? But that works for me. Um, so everything is kind of doing the first. So actually on the um, 831, we got a couple of afterpays and these are almost over. I don't know why I did all these afterpays on um, the same day. And I actually just paid that one yesterday. I went ahead and paid it. So we have a bunch of afterpays. I'm going to be just about through with those, not really doing those anymore because it seems like I just get them on those weeks that are the slow weeks. And then they just happen to fall again on um, a slow week and then I'm struggling to pay it. So it makes no sense. Okay. So, and then I have a sizzle, same thing. Um, and then actually I really can pay these off. This is the last payment on that one. I think I have one more payment on this one and one more payment on that one. So let's see. Amazon is due on the first. And I think that is $13.77. Um, CMP. That's definitely the first. Um, Ulta. So here's where it gets interesting. All of my pretty much small credit cards are due on the first. And I believe Ulta is $29. I kind of wanted to put a little extra on them, but this is a slow week. So, uh, no. Community. And I believe they are 29 as well. Victoria's Secrets. They are 29 as well, but I want to give them 50 because I only owe $100 on that one and I want to pay them off. So I'm looking forward to giving them 50. And Walmart is due on the 4th. Now, what I like, oh, and then I have booth rent. I'm gonna just put the fourth. I don't know why my handwriting looks like this, but it's okay. And Walmart is like 29, but I was supposed to be giving Walmart extra. Uh, I'm gonna do 50 
for them as well. So I'm just gonna bring in my other planner. I'm going to search for like things that was due around this time. Last time I got a T-Mobile payment, Walmart, Amazon. I don't have Lane Bryant anymore. I paid them off and Wayfair has moved to the 25th. So let's see, is there anything else? After pay, car note, Capital One. Um, okay, so there's nothing. And then now I will check my monthly to see if there is anything that I may have forgotten. So we're going to the fourth. So no, that's it. Something else is doing the fourth. Oh, my new credit one card. Oh Lord. I had that on. And they had like a, a fee, which I shouldn't have gotten that card, which was like $39. Okay, so but I want to give them more, but I'm gonna stick with the 39. So we have a remaining from income at 600. Let's add all of this up. I'll probably fast forward. Okay, so we have 50476. Sounds about right. Um, that's what I gotta pay out. Now, honestly, I'm not gonna even put cash envelopes. If there's something left, I'll do that. But I'm supposed to be starting my 100 envelope challenge, y'all. I'm making progress. But, uh, let me zoom out. I'm making a little progress here, but <laughs> not much. So I'm only up to number like 39. I haven't even gotten to 40. Yeah, that's 38. So I'm up to like 38, 39. So I'm supposed to be doing that. So I'm gonna just put over here um, 100 envelope. So it's 504, let's subtract from 600. Should be 9524. I'm gonna put that here. 9524. And then for the 100 envelope, I'm gonna do um, $10. And I'm not gonna include my one and five. I need to save everything else, but I know that's not gonna work. So my miscellaneous, I have a note in my monthly that miscellaneous needs to get something. So I'm going to give miscellaneous $60.23. So we're at $70.23. And then, um, should be on savings. Savings will get the rest, which will be, hold on. Oh, that's going to be 60.24. So it's going to get $25. And that zeroes our budget out. So let me just calculate all of this. I need to get a new calculator because this one is nice, but 95.24. 95.24. So we have zero balance left. So no cash envelope so far this week. Let me get out of the way. So far we don't have any cash envelopes this week. If there's more, of course, I'll stuff to the cash envelopes. Um, but right now we're working with very, very little. Again, I'm gonna try to hustle the Instacart. I feel like I'm forgetting something. I am. I'm gonna try to hustle the Instacart, but we may have more to stuff. But for right now, this is what it's looking like up and through around here. So, but um, there's always a way made, you guys. So definitely, I'm not even worried. We're gonna get it done. So next video, you guys, will be me closing out the month of 
August and either I'll be doing my September because I definitely want to get started on my September budget. I've kind of done an outline of it, but I haven't done it with you guys. And you all have been keeping me accountable. I know my planner babes are like, where, where's the plan with me? But I have to, you know, I was saying I have a little bit of ADHD. And while I'm focused on my budget, I have to stay so that I can continue to save and keep my mind frame in that. Then I can veer a little back to the left so i'll still do those you know videos as well but staying you know my eye on my money i'm doing so much better um because the pandemic taught me one thing that you can never get too comfortable even though i get paid cash daily um it could be gone just like that um even though i'm self-employed i'm i don't have any benefits i don't have any guaranteed money so this is really helping me and i don't ever want to be put in that position again where I don't have any money or I have to depend on people to help me pay my bills or depend on the government to help me pay my bills. So I'm really on this financial journey and I'm dead serious. So I have to stick to my budgeting. Um, like I said before, this is where this channel was created was really in the beginning was for me budgeting. Um, you can go back. My very first video is a little cocked to the side, but it was about my budget. So I am on it. I enjoy sharing my journey with you guys. I cannot wait to just show you the things that I'll be able to pay off. Um, like I said, today is my first day Instacarting and hoochie, I was tired. <laughs> I took a nap. It was, I guess because I didn't have anything to do. I didn't have any regular customers. Um, the sh my, you know, Etsy and Shopify shop was short, was, you know, slow. So I was like, instead of sitting down, let me just do some Instacart. I didn't believe I would be able to start today, but I did. And your girl is tired. Okay, y'all, I was wheezing. I thought I was going to cough up a lung. I had to walk up some steps, but I got my exercise in. I made some tip money, which I cannot wait to share with you guys. And uh, I'm going to give it a go again tomorrow. I don't know how long this is going to last, but I'm determined to pay off this debt. I can't just sit around and wait and expect um, just, you know, to, it just to magically disappear or some money to magically just appear in my account. And I also looked at my analytics for the first time in a while um like i don't even have the watch hours so even if i get to a thousand subscribers i still need to watch hours so i was like um you're not getting a check no time soon sis so you need to go out here and do some work <laughs> so that's all i have for you guys sorry about the little short diary entry but anyway thank you all so much for stopping by if you enjoyed today's video and you want to come back for some more I would love to welcome you to the cove so do me a favor hit that subscribe button also hit that notification bell so that you're notified whenever i upload content and i'll see you guys in my next video bye